Hi, everyone. Welcome to Financial Insights. I'm Linda, your accounting coach. Today, I want to talk about inventory. For those that are product-based businesses, you know inventory can be a lot in managing. I didn't realize this until I started my corporate career. I worked at a manufacturing plant and I went through my first physical inventory. So imagine a huge warehouse, something similar to Amazon, maybe not that big, but getting up very early in the morning, I think we got up like early Saturday probably, or maybe a Friday, and just having to count product after product after product, basically taking all day to count the warehouse. And with inventory, we have to realize inventory is tied to your cash. So that's why it's so important that you need extra eyes on inventory, because if you don't have product, you can't sell, you can't make money. So today I want to provide you three, um, I would say three things that you need to consider regarding inventory management. Number one, make sure you have a tracking system. I know a lot of us are using Shopify, which is great necessarily use Excel. You want something automatic so you don't have to think about it. It's not very manual, but you need a good tracking system. You need a system that will say, this is the beginning balance. This is how much that is actually I have to sell. It take, automatically takes it from your inventory, and then you always know what's on hand. So you definitely want to have a tracking system for inventory. So that's what a tracking system will do. Number two, you want to audit your inventory, even if it's in your extra bedroom, your basement, audit your inventory so you know what's on hand. Once again, inventory is tied to cash. So if you know you're going to have a pop event coming up or you're having a sale, some type of promotion, you want to make sure you have enough inventory on hand. Also, if you produce product that actually could spoil or needs to be sold within, the, you know, so many days or months, a great idea to do an audit of your inventory. Now, if your inventory is out of state, different location, ask that particular, that vendor, they can actually send you an inventory report. Most likely they're all, they're always sending you something at the end of the month, but ask them, okay, are they checking, you know, during the month? So you want to make sure you always have enough inventory. Lastly, you want to make sure you understand your gross profit. This is so key. Many times we have this great idea. We have a great product, but we don't realize the gross profit. So gross profit is what you sell the product for minus cost of goods sold. So cost of goods sold is the material, the labor, everything you put into that product to get that product going. So if you sell your product for $10 and your gross profit, I'm sorry, your cost of goods sold is $5, your gross profit is $5. Depending on your sector and how you feel about that, you may say, well, that's a good deal. That's 50%. You may say, you know what? It actually should be more. So you need to realize how much money are you putting in and then how much money are you actually receiving from your product? So remember, gross profit is very key. So number one, make sure you have a tracking system for your inventory. Don't rely on use something that's automatic, that has a that has um, capability for reporting. Number two, audit your inventory um, and off, you know, in a different state, different state or city. You need to contact that vendor and make sure they're also doing an audit um, on your inventory too. And lastly, make sure you understand the gross profit. So I challenge you to actually do an audit of or just see what you find. And that and get in the habit of that, you know, possibly doing that quarterly, monthly, or weekly, whatever the case may be. But depending on your business, you may have to do it um, more often. But I challenge you to actually do an audit of your inventory. And if you've already done that, great. And then start keeping track, start documenting that. Because that is going to be a process for someone, for the person you're going to hire who's 
going to handle your inventory. So it's a great way to start creating a system. And then when you hire someone, you can say, okay, this is how we perform um, auditing our inventory. So hopefully this information is helpful. Make sure you check out um, more of our YouTube videos for many lessons on how to manage your business finances. Make sure, make sure you subscribe so you can also receive notifications. I'll see you next time.